ya mapenzi ya Bwana. We declare the freedom of that sister in the name of Jesus and we scatter every work of the enemy over her life uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I declare this is a holy ground uh, for the habitation of the spirit of God. God is at work in this place uh, and so we declare in Jesus name that the spirit of God is in control in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a clap offering of praise. The other prayer you can make is a prayer of intercession. The prayer of intercession is a prayer made for another. You are making that prayer because of another person. Making it for a friend. Making the prayer of intercession because of the church. Because of the nation. And uh, the prayer of intercession is very, very important because the Bible says that, that sometimes we pray and we pray amiss we don't receive what we are praying for because we pray just to fulfill our own desires. Maombi haifai tu tuombe kwa sababu ya tamazetu. Unajiombea ni mimi bwana. It is me, I and myself, mimi, uh, watoto wangu naombea mume wangu naombea gari yangu karibu uombe mpaka paka na umbwa yeah. maombi haifai tu iwe selfish praise the name of the living god intercession is when you have concern for other people praise the name of the living god and i value the prayer of intercession because even our Lord Jesus Christ today, he is holding the office of intercession. He is interceding for us with the Father. Na kila wakati na mwambia, Baba, waponye nilipigwa kwa ajiri yao. Wafanikishe nilifanyika masikini kwa ajiri yao. Rana zivunjike nilifanyika rana kwa ajiri yao. Waokoe nilimwaga damu kwa ajiri yao. Praise the name of the living God. May God raise more intercessors in our midst uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, who are going to intercede for the work of God. Uh, who are going to intercede for this nation. Uh, we are going to secure our nation uh, through intercession uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. And intercessory prayers are very important because when we invest our prayers to pray for other people, to pray for our nation, to pray for the work of God, then there will be change and transformation. Bwana pewe sifa. Hallelujah. Na wakati mwingi huwa tunasema kuna watu ambao they are special. Wanafaa kuwa waombezi. But to me, I believe every believer should be an intercessor. It is only the levels that can be different. But every one of us should be able to pray for another. We should not be selfish. Hakuna mtu naweza sema mimi sio muombezi. Kusema sio muombezi ni kumaanisha wewe ni mtu ambaye unajipenda sana. Ya kwamba maombi yako ni wewe na wewe na wewe peke yako. Can you tell your neighbor you are an intercessor? Bana sifuwe sana. Hallelujah. Hii ni kanisa la waombezi. Kila muaminio ni muombezi. Kwa sababu kila muaminio anaweza kuomba kwa sababu ya watumishi wa Bwana. Paulo alikuwa anasema niombeni ili ninaposimama niweze kupatiwa maneno na niweze kuyatangaza kwa ujasiri. Praise the name of the living God. Ni vizuri kukumbuka wagonjwa walio hospitali waliofungwa katika jera Mungu abadilishe maisha yao praise the name of the living god na wakati mwingine Mungu anakubali tupitie hali fulani ili tuwe na mzigo i remember one of our pastors mtoto wake alikuwa mgonjwa akampeleka hospitali ya kukuwa na suluhisho alipompeleka nyumbani sasa akashindwa nitafanya nini na akapiga magoti sasa ndio aweze kumuombea Mungu akamwambia don't pray for your child i wanted you to feel the pain of others who are sick pray for them akaanza kuombea wagonjwa wakati alianza kuombea wagonjwa mtoto wake akapona praise the name of the living god kuna wakati Mungu anakubalia tupitie mambo fulani ili tukumbuke wengine ambao wako katika hiyo hali the bible says there is no temptation that has come to you that is uncommon to men 
yale unayoyapitia kuna mtu mwingine ambaye pengine anapitia kali kuliko yako so usijipende kumbuka wengine ambao wanapitia hali kama zile receive the grace of intercession in Jesus name praise the name of the living god when we carry the burden of our nation jina la bwana lipewe sifa it is the will of god for us in Jesus name the other type of prayer you can pray is a prayer of dedication dedication and consecration we dedicate things to god we can even bring our children for dedication in the church the prayer of dedication gives entry to god the earth belongs the, the highest heavens belong to god but the earth has been given to man praise the name of the living god spirits uh, don't have legal entry here on earth that is why even when jesus came uh, the bible says uh, you prepared a body for me bwana pesifa and because god is a spirit bwana sana for him to come down he must be invited even for the devil to come there are people who invite the devil spirits are illegal they will always look for a body they will look for a person praise the name of the living god to invite them here on earth and so when we dedicate something to god we are telling god take over in my child take over in my life take over in my business mambo mengine tungetaka mungu aingilie lakini hatujawahi kumpatia nafasi it is a prayer of dedication that gives god entry mimi nadhamini sana maombi ya dedication na nimejifundisha sana na mambo mengi dedication establishes something in the spirit realm praise the name of the living god because in the spirit realm there is no vacuum when you try to occupy something the same thing could be occupied in the spirit that land could be occupied in the spirit it is dedication that enthrones the lord that is why when jacob was running from his brother and he slept in a place he saw an open heaven why because abraham knew how to dedicate every time god said i will give you this land he raised an altar and he dedicated the land to god and the bible says when jacob slept he saw angels who are descending and ascending praise the name of the living god only the angels were occupying the land because it was dedicated kwa hivyo ukijenga nyumba wacha kuingia kama jua karuru unakuja tu na kitanda yako na sofa set usiku saa tano mkihama hata kama ni nyumba ya kukomboa kabla hujaingiza mizigo yako hiyo nyumba in the spirit realm is occupied haujui mwenye alikuwa hapo alikuwa mvutaji wa bangi ama alikuwa kahaba alafu unaingia kwa nyumba unasikia mambo imebadilika watoto wako wamebadilika mume wako ameanza kukukasirikia kwa sababu hata wale walitoka hapo wali separate na we unaingia tu na huwezi kumwambia bwana kabla sijaingia nyumba hii i dedicate it unto you dedicate your car kuna watu wamejengea hizo magari madhabahu zingine hata zinaitwa majina ya miungu zimepatianwa kwa miungu zimetolewa kwa miungu na wewe ukinunua tu natumia na ile miungu ilikuwa imepatiwa inakwambia hauniabudu inaanza kuleta fujo yani unapeleka gari kwa barabara unasikia hii gari inakuwa wazimu eh unaweka new brake pads iko kwa barabara inakataa tu brake kwa sababu inakwambia hauniabudu so dedicate your car to god dedicate your house to god dedicate your child to god praise the name of the living god dedicate the land to god because it is dedication that gives god entry you give god permission revelation chapter 3 and verse 20 the bible says i'm knocking and when you open i will enter god does not force himself he has given you the freedom to choose the bible says choose today i put before you cars and blessings life and death choose life that you may live you and your children you have to make a choice and when you make a choice you tell god 
this is my choice that I invite you to be Lord over my life in the name of Jesus. The prayer of dedication is also very important. Maybe I can read uh, Matthew chapter 26 and verse 39. Because dedication is also is when somebody comes to a place of surrendering their life to the will of God. The Bible says, going a little further, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, my father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me. Yet not as I will, but as you will. If you go a little bit further, uh, in the same portion of scripture, verse 42, the Bible says, he went away a second time and prayed, my father, it is not possible for this cup to be taken away unless I drink it. May your will be done. We make prayers of dedication when we come to a place in our lives and we purpose to align our lives with the will of God. There are people who resist God's will. They know this is God's will for my life, but they are resisting. Jesus came to a place and he said, Lord, as much as this cup is painful, Lord, not my will. I dedicate my life to you. I consecrate my life to you. For me to be where I am today, there is a place and at some point in my life that I made a prayer of dedication in my life. And I told God, my life from today is not mine. I will not do as I please. But I want to do your will. A prayer that we make when we purpose to surrender. Sometimes we surrender to God when we are cornered completely like Jonah. Is when we surrender. But let me tell you, there is a way. The Bible says, unless a kernel of wheat falls down and it dies, it abides the road. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. There is a place of dying to self. And saying, not my will, Lord. But let your will. Let your will, Lord. I consecrate my life to you. I dedicate my life to you. Jesus said, whoever loses his life will get it back. But whoever refuses to lose his life, he will lose it anyway. Kuna watu kata kutoa maisha yao na semi mambo ya kuokoka sasa. This is a higher level. Because when Jesus was praying this prayer, it was a prayer where he felt, I wish I am not supposed to follow this way. But he said, Lord, not my will. You can be resisting God's will in your life and you are born again and you are spirit filled. But you are still assisting God's will for your life. Bana sifia sana. Wiki ni kwa ninaongea na muhubiri mmoja. Alikuwa amefika mahali akawachana na kazi ya Mungu. Kwa sababu ya shida tu. Hata mimi kuna wakati nilikuwa nimewacha nikaenda kuanza biashara lakini wakati nilibeba mizigo gali ndio ilipiga taya basi kenongi. Na gali kaharibika lakini siku huzwa. Hapo nilisema Bwana I dedicate my life to you sasa. I surrender completely. Sasa na yeye alikuwa anaosha magari. Akiwa kwa car wash, wazimu wakapitia pale. Wakati wazimu alipitia pale, akamuuliza, "Liwusho ni wewe ile ile wete ile ukuruta?" Hiyo ndio kazi ulitiwa kufanya. Akajiuliza, "Kama ni pasta angeniuliza?" Praise the name of the living God. Ninge muambia haujui zile shida niko nazo wewe. Lakini huyu mtu kichwa yake sio mzuri. Lakini amenizo alikaa tu hapo chini akawacha ile gari alikuwa anasafisha. Akafikiria mara ya pili akasema, "Baba nitarudia kazi yako. You make a prayer of dedication. You surrender to God's will." Praise the name of the living God. There are breakthroughs ambazo hauwezi kupata katika maisha haya mpaka ufanye maombi ya dedication utoe maisha yako kwa Bwana ujihodhe kwa mfuko ya sadaka watu wengine hapa ni wazuri sana kutoa pesa 
lakini kuna mahali unafika unaweka maisha yako kwa mfuko ya sadaka unamwambia bwana chukua all that i am all that i have i surrender to you praise the name of the living god pastor moses shared with us he has been in egypt for 17 years wengine hata hamjui kama egypt kuna kanisa i wish you came for the cash alituambia mahali ambapo unachapwa na bado unaombea watu wabarikiwe amekaa kule miaka 17 anaitwa UK anaambiwa kuja hapa tufungue kanisa nitakusupport anaitwa US na watu wako tayari kumsupport na wanamwambia hapa utaishi a good life lakini anasema afadhali nikufe nikiwa katika mapenzi ya Bwana kuliko nikufe ama niende nikaishi maisha mazuri praise and a prayer of dedication that is a prayer that Moses prayed when he left the comfort of Egypt alisema afadhali niende nikateseke na watu wa Mungu kuliko nishereekee anasa za dhambi kwa kitambo kidogo he dedicated his life it was a matter of life and death but the bible says he saw him who is invisible when you dedicate your life to god that is when you see god in action That is when you see when you stop fighting and resisting the will of God that is when you know there is a God in heaven and he is a mighty deliverer he can do that which you are not able to do for yourself even for a hundred years when you surrender to his will Bwana asifiwe sana Maombi ya dedication mtu anaombanga na machosi na makamasi kwa sababu unasikia sasa singetaka hivyo yenyewe lakini i surrender Yesu mwenyewe jasho yake ilibadilika ikawa matone ya damu anasema mimi ningetaka hiki kombe kiondoke lakini bwana kuna watu hawezi kuona miujiza until they totally dedicate their lives they surrender to the will of god there are people here who know god's will but they have refused to dedicate their lives they have refused to surrender i charge you by this word today surrender to god's will for your life dedicate your life consecrate your life wachana na anasa za dhambi ishi yale maisha mungu anataka uishi watu watakudhihaki watu wataona kama umepotea watu wataona umebadilika Praise the name of the living God but when you dedicate uh, and consecrate uh, your life to God uh, Jesus said uh, when you lose your life uh, you are going to get it back Hey I have gotten my life back I love what I do now Praise the name of the living God because I have gotten my life back Bwana asifiwe sana but it is not easy when you do the prayer of dedication not dedicating a house unajua unapo dedicate nyumba unajua bado utaishi hiyo nyumba ni yako una dedicate gari alafu unaingia una drive unaenda mahali unaenda lakini unapo ji dedicate unaambia Mungu nichukue fanya na mimi sasa vile upendavyo i surrender to your will am i speaking to somebody praise the name of the living god so the prayer of dedication is a prayer of total surrender people who have dedicated their lives are like Paul who said woe unto me if I don't preach the gospel but if I do it for you entirely there is a blessing kwa hivyo Paul alikuwa anajua siwezi kufanya na maisha yangu mpaka alikuwa anasema my life is worth nothing if I can only fulfill praise the name of the living God the mandate that has been given to me of preaching the gospel yani anasema maisha yangu haina value nyingine value ya maisha yangu ni nitimize makusudi ya Bwana praise the name of the living god haleluya wakati mwingi mimi nikiangalia vitu katika maisha huwa nasikia sina radha unasikia huna radha ya vitu hata zile vitu watu wanatamani hauna radha ile radha uko nayo unamwambia Bwana si unisaidie tu nitimize makusudi yako si unisaidie nitimize kile ambacho umenitia hata uogopi kifo kwanza ukifa unasikia utafurahi kwa sababu ni kazi utakuwa umemaliza praise the name of the living god 
Watu kama hao kama Paulo alikuwa anasema my departure is near. Kuondoka kwangu kumekaribia. Petro alikuwa anasema I am very soon going to leave the tent of this body. Death is not an issue to those people who have dedicated their lives to God. Watu wale huwa wanaogopa kifo ni wale wameshikilia maisha yao. But people who have dedicated their life to God, they have no fear of death. Praise the name of the living God. The prayer of dedication is very very important. We are in number prayer number prayer number prayer number 7 is a prayer of seeking God the prayer of seeking God it's not every time you go before God to ask for things the bible says in the book of amos chapter 5 and verse 4 seek me and live. Huh? God is the source of everything. And when you get hold of God, then you have everything that you need in this life. This is what the Lord says to the house of Israel, seek me and live. There are times you dedicate not to ask for things, but to seek him. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. You seek him. Isaiah chapter 64 and verse 7. What does the Bible say? Praise the name of the living God. Isaiah 64. No one calls on your name or strives to lay hold of you. Hakuna alitiae jina lako ama anangangana akushike. Bwana pewe sifa. Mungu wakati mwingine anaangalia anasema watu wanangangana na mashamba wanangangana na magari wanataka huduma kubwa do you know me have not been seeking for a mega church praise the name of the living god there are things when you got you get hold of god they come to you automatically praise the name of the living god hallelujah there are things when you get hold of god they automatically come to you because God is the creator of everything. Na kila kitu kinamchua Mungu. Bwana pewe sifa. When you rebel against God, everything rebels against you. But when you align yourself with God's will, then everything else will come to you. There are times people are supposed to set aside times just to be in a place and tell God it is you Lord I need in my life you are my heart desire unaomba zaburi 42 unamwambia bwana kama vile ayala aionevyo shauku mito ya maji hivyo ndivyo bwana moyo wangu navyo kutamani ni lini utakapokuja kwangu ni lini utakapoonekana si uje katika maisha yangu a prayer my soul thirsts for god for the living god where can i go and meet with god the prayer of seeking god is for a people who are hungry for god who are thirsty for god praise the name of the living god hallelujah jesus said all you who are thirsty come and drink There is a level of God you cannot experience unless you are thirsty for him. Praise the name of the living God. The Bible says in the book of Daniel chapter 11 and part B, them that shall know they are God, they shall be strong. How do you know him? If you have not spent time seeking him, you can't know him. If you only spend time seeking and looking for things then you can never find God. And many people are after things, they are not after God. But let me tell you the secret, when you go after God and you get hold of God, God is the pinnacle of everything. He is the high. You know, wasungu na semanga aim to the star and you reach where? To the moon. Kwa sababu nyota si ndio ziko mbali kuliko mwezi. 
Sasa wakati target yako katika maisha ni Mungu. Mungu diako juu sana. So unapongangana kwenda kushika Mungu, mke atakuja, magari atakuja, kibali kitakuja, kazi itakuja. Hizi vitu zingine ziko tu hapa. Wewe bado zikija unaziambia kaka kando. Kuna yule ninaye mtafuta pesa inakuja kwa mamilioni unaiambia kaka kando bado mimi naenda by the time you get hold of god utakuwa umefuatwa na mambo watu wakikuangalia wanakuuliza hii mambo yote umetoa wapi kumbe ni kukufuata inakufuata na wewe kuna yule ambaye unamtafuta praise the name of the living god hey Do I have somebody who is hungry for God? Do I have somebody who is thirsty for God? Praise the name of the living God. When will you take days? When you will have cashas just to spend time and meditate on the goodness of the Lord, on the greatness of the Lord. Praise the name of the living God. When will you spend time before God and tell him you are my heart desire? Bwana asifiwe sana. Watu wengi tunatamani vitu. Na maombi ya supplication ni bibiliko. Enda uambie Mungu mambo yale yote unataka. Lakini pia kuna maombi yako katika Biblia. Maombi ya kutafuta Mungu. Ya kumwambia Mungu nimekuja mbele zako kila mtu katika dunia anatafuta vitu but i have decided to seek you and to seek the kingdom i know that this thing can be added unto me praise the name of the living god hallelujah may god be found of you as you purpose to seek him from today in the mighty name of jesus praise the name of the living god that is why people cannot understand you when you you spend a lot of time in prayer ni nini hiyo mnaombea kila wakati ni kuomba kila wakati ni kufunga kwa sababu watu wengi their perception of prayer is very narrow watu wengi wanafikiria maombi ni supplication ni maombi tu ya kuitisha vitu na kuambia Mungu shida hawajui ya kwamba you can go before God just to adore him just to minister to him God can do everything for himself but he cannot praise himself. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. Hallelujah. Kuna wakati tu unafunga si kwa sababu uko na shida. Unamwambia Mungu, mimi ni wewe ninaye kutamani. Maisha yangu na kuonea kiu. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. Ah, kuna maombi mengine ambayo number 8 kuna maombi inaitwa ili jina unaweza kulikosa kwa Biblia lakini inaitwa imprecatory prayer or the prayer of imprecation imprecatory prayer ni maombi ambayo yanaombwa na ni maombi ya Qurani yako katika Biblia especially in the book of Psalms utapata maombi hayo na maombi haya nataka kusema ya kwamba maombi haya in the old testament yalikuwa yamekubalika but in the new testament hayajakubalika na ningependa kusema hivi kwa sababu nafundisha kuna watu wengi wameembrace maombi kama hayo maombi ya Qurani casting prayers praise the name of the living god you cast your enemies you take the arrows and you throw them praise the name of the living god maombi kama hayo nataka kuambia kwamba sio maombi ya new testament church kwa sababu Yesu mwenyewe alitufundisha kwa mfano wake ye mwenyewe Um, if you read uh, in the book of Romans let let's uh, lead yeah let's begin with Romans chapter 12 
kwa sababu when you take judgment in your hands you make yourself to be the judge and god is the judge the bible says don't judge so that you not be judged once you start releasing curses and judging then you also receive judgment romans jump to verse 14 the same 12 the bible says bless those who persecute you bless and do not curse jump to verse 19 the bible says do not take revenge my friends but leave room for god's wrath for it is written it is mine to avenge i will repay says the lord so the bible says do not take revenge my friends kuna watu huomba maombi ya kujilibishia wanajilibishia kwa maadui yao kwa hivyo unaposikia wanasema nina walibasaika nina walibazelia sio mapepo ni watu na anawajua majina na amefunga awali makaite na awali makute nina wali makuta na wali makida Mbuli za jirani umeshai kuomba hiyo maombi <laughs> Bwana asifiwe sana zinaitwa imprecatory prayers na kuna especially watu wale wame interact sana na Nigerian church uh, wanaomanga hiyo maombi sana maombi ya Qurani those prayers are not good they are not biblical because now the kingdom of God is in us. We have enough protection against our enemies. And if we have to pray in precatory prayers, we pray them against the forces and the host of darkness. Because the Bible says in Ephesians 6, 12 of now, that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. The reason God, David was cursing his enemies because the battle was against flesh and blood. But now, the battle is not against flesh and blood. We wrestle, our struggle is not against flesh and blood. So when you start wrestling against flesh and blood, you are disqualified in the battle. Praise the name of the living God. But the, but the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. So mtiyote ambaye anaanza kuingia katika vita vya mwili na damu, anaingia kwa maombi aonane na mtu fulani mtu huyo amekuwa disqualified na utagongwa na mapepo because shetani anajua neno na anajua ya kwamba sio wewe unafaa kujiripishia na kama utapigana unafaa kupigana not na the person but the force behind bwana asifiwe sana haleluya yesu mwenyewe biblia inasema in the book of first peter chapter 2 and verse 23 first peter chapter 2 and verse 23 very quickly we move a little bit faster first peter chapter 2 and verse 23 when they hurled their insult at him he did not retaliate when he suffered he made no threats instead he entrusted himself to him who judges justly yani hata wakati ambapo walimtusi wakati alipofanywa mambo yale yote alifanywa the bible says jesus is our example the bible says that he did not retaliate what did he do he entrusted himself to him who judges justly mimi katika safari yangu ya imani nimeshawahi kuinukiwa na watu ambao ninao wajua lakini sitaki kujua nilijua hii subject sana but mtu yeyote ambaye amefundishwa na roho wa Mungu amefundishwa na Mungu kuna vitu unless we are long foundation the anointing kuna mambo huwa inakufundisha inakwambia usijipiganie usiwaombe vibaya hata unapoenda kupeleza Mungu unalia unawabariki when you do that you are entrusting your life to him who judges don't make yourself to be the judge praise the name of the living god you are not perfect 
when you start praying against other people, the enemy will find fault in your life and he'll hit you back. Kwa sababu umejifanya the judge. So, I don't believe in imprecatory prayers. Maombi ya Qur'ani kulimasaika watu, kulimakuta. Na kuna watu hapa because wengine mmetoka different foundations mnaombanga hiyo maombi. Kama umeshawahi kuomba hiyo maombi, inua mkono wako mara moja na rudisha chini. Nimeona mikono michache, Bwana wasamehe. Na kuanzia siku ya leo usiombe hiyo maombi tena katika jina la Yesu. Praise the name of the living God. Najua watu wengine sio genuine. Kama hiyo nafani ite ota kwa hapa ni waombe. Because bibi nasema kwa sababu ulipenda Qurani rana ikakupata baraka ikakaa bali na wewe new testament is give and it shall be give, given back to you a good measure placed down so what you give is what comes back to you so you give what you want to receive if you give curses curses will come back to you and they will come in a good measure they will be shaken together Press down, running over. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Mi mista kiraana. Uki penda kubari kia tuna bari kimpaka maadui. Bana sifa sana. Baraka zita kufuata. Oh, na shukuru mungu arini fundisha kubari kima adui. Bana sifa sana. Mi na kubuka tawakati ni kuwa challenge katika umoji tulikuwa pale greyhouse.